continue with the rest of today's video, I want to thank our sponsor, which is Fine2. Fine2 is available on Amazon, and they have these amazing two-piece workout sets. So quick little haul before we get started, I got this black set that is so cute. It has little biker shorts, as well as this thick waistband that's going to really snatch you in and also just help you remember to use your core. And the top of this one looks like this. It's like a tank top vibe. It's lightly padded and that's kind of a square neckline as well as a kind of a square back. And then I also have this kind of like dark rose colored one that also has the shorts with the thick waistband, which we love, boom. And I really like the top of this one. It's a little more strappy and it has the Y back and this is adjustable as well. It's also lightly padded and this is just so flattering. These are really good quality. It's thick material and I feel like they're at such an affordable price. They also are available on Amazon, so you can use Amazon Prime. These got to me really quick. By the way, these also do come in a two pack, so you get both for, I believe it's like 36 bucks. So I would really recommend. These are so cute for summer and just a perfect lounge set as well. Thank you so much to Find2 for sponsoring today's video. I will link this set or these sets, this complete set down below and let's get into the rest of the video. Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. This is gonna be a weekend in my life in NYC and it is Friday like afternoon. It's like 5 p.m. right now. My sister and I are about to go to a happy hour and there's some like little shops around there that I wanna go to that we both wanna go to. So we're gonna do that and then we're gonna see where the night takes us. So I wanted to show you my outfit. I mostly just wanted to wear this because I got these new boots and this new skirt. I guess this jacket's kinda new too, but it's mostly like the skirt and the boots. I don't necessarily feel like overdressed, but I feel like this is a good look look that could take me into the night. My only issue is that the skirt is a little too big. So I honestly wish it was a little shorter and I wish that it just wasn't so, so big on me. Cause then I kind of have to wear it more low waisted and then I just feel like it looks really awkwardly long. Cause it's giving like, it's supposed to be a cute little like mini skirt and it's just like not giving me that. Now I have second thoughts. Do you think I can use a bobby pin? Wait, did any of these clothes on the same thing? Yeah, that would Like, I've used a clip, like a hair clip before. Would... You're not doing a necklace? I am. Then maybe the small one, yeah. Small? No necklace? <laughs> like, I like the concept of this, but it's just not completely giving what I wanted to give. Is that obnoxious? So, what are you gonna do? And then for my hair, I did this like TikTok hack with like you do two ponytails and then you kind of tease this one so it covers the second ponytail and it just looks a lot more perky. And then I kind of wish these were a little like less. I think next time I get my hair trimmed, I might get these front pieces like shorter. Then these two bracelets are from Otter. So I thought this was like a good little tie everything in. I also wanted to add glasses and these are actually the glasses from a sponsorship I did of like an IPL at home device. So they're making everything really green, which I'm like, that's kind of a look because the green in the skirt, but I really like can barely see anything. So I don't know, maybe I'll bring them, but I don't know if I'm gonna wear it. I actually gave you a run. Good morning guys. It is Sunday. I had not like a super early night last night, but like it was a chill night. I want to do something today. I think I want to go into the city. My sister is down to still do that. We talked about doing that. I want to go to the East Village. I had this crystal bracelet and my sister borrowed it even though I told her not to, but I was like, okay, fine. And the next day she's like, you're gonna be mad at me. And she was like, <laughs> it fell in the toilet and broke. I don't really know. So basically she owes me a bracelet. So there's these little like spiritual shops and they also have plants and I want her to buy me a new bracelet. But with that being said, I also wanted to show you guys, not spons, but it, they are gifted. So it's like technically I could count these as like another <laughs> the otter spirit. Sent me three crystal bracelets that are so pretty. This one is rose quartz, citrine, and I forget what this one is. It was for something good. I don't know if it was like 
intuition or like protection so cute so thank you so much the otter spirit i believe i have a discount code for you guys and i think i'm part of their affiliate program so if you purchase through the link i get a percentage but this isn't like a paid ad or anything so pretty these honestly look really good together but i've mostly been mixing these two and then this one i have another bracelet that kind of looks good with it so i'm having kind of a chill morning i don't really know I know my sister went out last night, so I don't know her vibe. So I'm kind of trying to plan out what I can do this morning just by myself. There's so many things that we need to get for our apartment. Like, I'm annoyed. Like, I want a good coffee maker. I either want to get a Keurig or just like a big coffee pot. Because I feel like when we have people over and stuff, we just have the little percolator. So it's hard to like make enough for everyone. And I just want a cute like coffee bar area. And I want to set up like our like actual bar and there's like the specific art i want to get we need to get tvs like there's just so many things we need to get more just like kitchenware it's definitely a process you know especially if you are on a budget furnish a full new apartment and y'all know in la like i sold everything or gave everything away so i knew what i was getting myself into but it's kind of like bro. <laughs> but i just remind i keep having to remind myself like it's only been two months of being in this apartment we were here for a month before that in an airbnb like about a month we have to get our guest room ready because i want friends to be able to stay with us and like have a good place to stay and like you know just privacy and stuff anyway that's just been like on my mind heavy i think especially just as time passes and it's like okay <laughs> like we ha we're a little furnished here and there but it's very just like basics i want to start getting cute and i have this idea because y'all know i'm kind of doing like a pink theme in my room like pink is like the accent color and it's like all different shades of pink which i think is so cute and just makes it easier to find like pink accessories because it doesn't all have to be the same shade but i want to do a pink bathroom but then i was like it would be so cute to do like a this is not even like an original idea i feel like especially with the movie coming out but like a barbie themed bathroom would be so cute or at least just like pink themed and then get like a vintage barbie print or something i know there's like flea markets and stuff so if you guys know of any good flea markets or even just any thrift stores in manhattan or brooklyn i mean anywhere in new york but specifically manhattan or brooklyn for like furniture and home decor let me know honestly flea markets scare me <laughs> you know when they're like you can barter it's like i don't want to i have this really cute dress i could wear today that's so just like wholesome like sunday farmer's market right cute so i think i think that's what i have. i just hope my sister's down because i just yeah i'm not really i don't really want to do shit alone these days like i just don't i mean i do sometimes but it's like i just feel like i did so much stuff alone like living in la all the time like or i just spent so much time alone that i'm just like i don't want to be in that space and obviously there's a difference between like like being alone and like taking yourself out on a solo date and like actually having fun and stuff but that's what my vibe today bro i think it's gemini season maybe that's why i feel like this like i just i don't feel like restless but like i kind of do my sheets and comforter cover by the way are from brooklyn and yeah i really like they are really soft please sponsor our youtube video oh, no i need more pillows like i need more pillow pillows I want to do some art here. There's this specific art on Amazon. Let me insert the photo. That's like the vibe, I think. But I'm like, I want to do it myself so I can kind of personalize it. And I think it would just be fun. I need like another lamp for in here. It'd be cute to put like a plant there. It's a work in progress. <laughs> so I did my makeup. I filmed the GRWM. So it'll probably be up. Maybe it's already up. I don't know. This dress is so cute. And the fit is so cute. But y'all, I... I think it's, I think I have to wait to wear this until later this week. So, the dress, it like, it ties in the back. I think this is so chic. And then I was gonna do this, cause it's like a daytime. And imagine like you buy some flowers and the flowers are like, like, hello. But I, I have to do more of a day tonight look. I'm supposed to meet up with these girlies at five and then I'm gonna meet up with my sister after. We were gonna go to this comedy show, but I think we're gonna just get a drink or something, which that's fine. I just, I wanna be out, bro. I feel like the Gemini season finds, like, you know, I was telling y'all. So I think I still kind of wanna wear these. Like, I don't wanna wear a sneaker and I need a new sneaker. So please let me know what sneaker to get. 
Okay, I was thinking this top, which is from the same place as this dress. Okay, so this is cute, but I need like a belt. Like this, this could be cute, you know? I wish this was a little smaller. Um, and I wish I had a belt, like a little, not like a super skinny black belt, but like a little belt would be nice. And I honestly wish this oops, skirt was like a little longer, but I feel like this could be cute. So I'm back in my predicament. The makeup is like, the makeup's really cute though. So thank God. Martini after our Cuban. Yeah. And we are living. I don't really be drinking martinis like that. Like, I'm a tequila girly. But literally earlier, I had a gin froze. And then we just had a seltzer, a lychee seltzer at din. And now I'm, we just wanted to continue our lychee vibes by having a lychee martini. So. I need a belt with this. It just, it feels chic. Jimmy Jimmy Coco Puff. Jimmy Jimmy Ride. That's what they say. Who's saying that? I am. The food was so good by the way. I didn't film the noodles, I don't think, but it was really good. Like, I would go back. We didn't even get that much stuff. So I got this package from Burlook and I wanted to share with you a few pieces. It's like swimsuits. This is not sponsored, it is gifted. So thank you so much to Burlook for sending this to me. Hopefully we can collab soon if you know what I mean. Um, but they're all really cute and like unique. So I just wanted to share with you what I picked out. It was mostly like beachwear, bikinis, swimsuits, cover-ups. This is sustainable, I believe. Yeah, it's 85% recycled polyester. 15% spandex to give it like that stretch. So this is the first bikini. I would try these on, but I feel like because they're bikinis, I'm only doing that for like a check, you know? But I will link all these down below if you wanna see how it fits on the models and stuff. As you can see, like it's very cheeky, which I mean, obviously I chose that. But yeah, really cute floral design. I wish I got this package before I went to Brazil, honestly. And then the matching top is just this triangle bikini. Love these because you can tie them so many different ways and yeah, this design is just so girly and cute. And I love that these are made out of recycled materials. I think that's like one of their main selling points as a brand. This one is reversible, pink and red, which I think is so cute. And again, just so girly. And then the triangle top, kind of similar design as that first one. I got this green velvet one that, no, this one's not reversible. And then again, the top. Like I just love this style because you can tie it so many different ways. And I just like a bikini that's more cheeky. I hate when there's so much fabric on the butt. Like, not even because I necessarily want to be showing the cheeks like that, but I just feel like it's more flattering. This is the last bikini I got. And this one is a little more, it does have a little more coverage. See? But I just hate that, like, wedgie look. So I like that even though this has more coverage, it's still, like, it's not so much where there's going to be extra fabric and stuff. And then the matching top for that one, super cute. Has a little twist. And then it also crosses in the back, I think. So cute. So I can't wait to wear these bikinis. And then I did get one, one piece, this red that is backless. So kind of like those Baywatch vibes. I'm honestly not really a one piece girl just because of the uneven tan it gives you. But sometimes you're in the mood for a one piece. And so I was like, you know, this one's still sexy. It's still cute. Again, those Baywatch vibes. And it's not too cheeky either. So this one's cute. And then I did get one cover up. This is kind of like an oversized button down. And I got this because I was like, I could just use this as like a shirt, as like a top as well. I love oversized button downs, especially white ones because they just go with everything um, for that de-spicing your outfit look. Like if you're going somewhere, taking the train and you just need to throw something over your outfit. Like this would be perfect for that, especially in the summer because it has these little like eyelets. Um, but yeah, also it's so cute as a cover up, made from 100% recycled materials. So that is so cool. Again, thank you so much to Burluck for sending me this stuff. Definitely check them out, you guys. Again, not sponsored, but it is gifted. So thank you so much. Good morning, guys. The past week has just been all over the place, but I wanted to finish up the vlog in like a nice matter. So right now I'm just editing some sponsorships, some short form sponsorships, having my coffee. But today I'm just like 
back to the grind. I might do something later. So in my mind, I'm like, I just want to get everything done, put laundry away and make my bed, put sheets on my bed and then go to the gym and then come back, get ready, film a podcast. Maybe by that time go out. My sister and I also need to grocery shop. I feel like I have a lot of time, but then it's like, I don't really have that much time. So we're gonna see what we can get done, but this is low key a busy week. I kind of just want to start a new vlog. Um, I also, if you guys saw my story, I got a big Bath and Body Works haul and I'm burning one of the candles right now. Rose water and ivy and mahogany teak wood. They have some bomb summer candles y'all because I don't know if you know this about me, but I don't really like, like if I want a candle, I want it to be like a more woody scent. Like I really like fall, winter, candle scents like a fresh balsam a mahogany teak wood i like the more masculine like warm woody scents they have this one and then they have one that's like pineapple mango and fresh balsam which is like a, like a christmas tree scent and they're both really good because they're more summer fragrances and a little more girly and just like sweet but then they have like still that kind of woodsy like masculine vibe too so it's like it's really nice and then i also got a cedarwood like room linen spray that's really good i didn't even show you guys my bathroom it's fine okay basically i just wanted this to be a very girly theme you know so i got this shower curtain i got these pink little bins so we could actually organize stuff because there's not much storage like built into the bathroom i got these and it came with a third one but i'm just not really sure what to put in that so i put it up there i got this little pink tray to make those you know amenities a little chicer i got this toilet paper holder that sticks so that's really nice i got this peach rug i got these mirror like stickies so like we shall see how long the <laughs> Little, like i don't know just because of the steam and stuff i'm worried it's gonna like melt the adhesive but hopefully not um i had this you guys know i mean i don't know do you know and then probably the best part is i got the like vanity lights because the lighting in here is so bad like i don't know how did y'all not think to put a like vanity light of any kind like this is literally the lighting like there's okay that doesn't look that bad but like you just, you can't really see yourself. And this is probably like the biggest upgrade. But yeah, so I will link everything down below, but I feel like this is just, especially like the the sticky, like the wall adhesive stuff. And we also have like the, the shower shelves. That is so good for apartments and like if you're renting because it's not permanent. And then also I just feel like a lot of apartments don't really come with optimal space. So you need to take advantage of that wall space and that vertical space, and that's like a good way to do it. I'm gonna continue editing. I think I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here. If anything, I will start a new vlog today, like later. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you like vlogs like this, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.